special a pad you got here? How long have you been here? Well, I guess about three years, Lee. This is, uh, well, in this particular apartment, about a year and a half. Yeah? I was looking at this uh, kind of wild rug you got. What's that made of? Well, this is a llama skin rug. Uh, it has its uh, good features to it. I mean, you can lay around and relax a while, but uh, also has its bad features. The cleaning gets dirty, and it's pretty rough to keep clean. Yeah. Well, I was looking at your couch, too. I don't suppose by chance that's a pigskin couch. No, it's not quite pigskin. It's a suede couch, and uh, that's another problem we have. It's uh, a little difficult to keep clean, especially with the kind of parties we have here now and then. Yeah. Joe, you're a, you're a college boy that came to the big city to get himself a, a swinging pad. Did you find yourself a decorator somewhere? Well, uh, that, that's a good question. I found a decorator. I didn't know anyone up here. No. Naturally, I got up here, but uh, a friend of mine told me about a decorator who I thought would, be, uh, who would do the job the way I wanted him to. And uh, he showed me a few figures on uh, the price of the apartment, this, that, and the other, and uh, some sketches. And I kind of liked it. Uh, I guess, well, I know the first figure we discussed was about $14,000 to finish the entire apartment. Well, about four months after that, it was up around the $25,000 stage, you know. And really, the furniture hadn't changed a whole lot. So uh, my man, uh, the decorator, was trying to take a little advantage of me, and we got straightened out, and we finally got the apartment finished. Well, did you give him any help in the decoration? Well, uh, not really. I just told him what I didn't like and a few things that I liked. But he came up with all the ideas. And uh, the ideas that I didn't like, like I say, I told him. And uh, the paneling on the wall, for instance, I, I like that. And he really didn't have that in mind at first. But uh, we discussed it and a few other things. Uh, the bedroom, of course, uh, was more or less my idea. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. I take it you helped him at least by paying the bill. <laughs> I helped him a whole lot by paying the bill. You know, Joe, I... I checked the bedroom a little while ago, and we can't get our cameras in there, mostly because of the fact you seem to have a wall-to-wall -wall bed, but I'm sure people are, are interested in that. Could you describe it for us? Well, uh, a lot of us, a lot of folks I know like to sleep a lot, yeah. and uh, that's about all I do in there is go to sleep a lot, and it's a nice size oval bed, and uh, the decorations are very nice. We have gold wallpaper and gold carpeting, and uh, there's a little mirror on the ceiling. Uh, I guess it's a smoke mirror, the same size as the bed and around the rest of the room. Of course, this is just for decoration. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, it, it's just strictly for decoration. In Maybe. other words, you, you have a mirror on the ceiling, but it's smoke glass, and, and you use it for decoration. Right, right, just oh, strictly understand. decoration. You've got a roommate, haven't you, Joe? Yes, a uh, fellow I went to college with, Ray Abruzzi, who uh, actually, I wouldn't have stayed in college if it hadn't been for Ray, I'd have probably quit. Uh, he was the only other Pennsylvanian down there when I was at the University of Alabama. And uh, he played for Buffalo Bills for four or five years. And when I came to the Jets, uh, Buffalo traded him to us. And so uh, it was a natural thing that we lived together. We lived together in Alabama and we lived together up here. And while we're not here, say we're visiting in the South, which we do in the off season, uh, Joe Hirsch, uh, who writes for the Morning Telegraph, stays here also. Mm. I understand, Joe, though, there's a little party going on here tonight. Is that right? Well, it's just a little get together. We have some uh, friendly get togethers now and then. Uh, the parties we have uh, vary. Uh, because of the people we have over here. Uh, one party uh, is completely different from the other. What kinds of parties do you have? I, I think that's kind of interesting. Well, uh, for instance, after a game, say we play at home, uh, if we win. Mm -hmm. Of course, we lost in the past, and we still had the parties, but not too often. Uh, Mr. Werblin may come over. Uh, you mean Sonny Werblin? Right. Yeah, okay. And uh, Eddie R. Carroll is a wonderful guy and a very good friend of mine, and uh, Joe Hirsch. Mm -hmm. And uh, folks of this nature, Peter Duchin and his wife, and. When you have uh, East Tide people with their wives, it's pretty difficult to have a kind of party we have when it's just stag fellas and uh, young girls. Well, I, I'd like to hear about that kind of party if you don't mind. Yeah, well, we couldn't get into that. <laughs> I see. No, it, it is a different kind of party. Now, without letting you incriminate yourself further, what kind of party are you going to have tonight? Well, uh, the party tonight will be with the younger folks, and uh, really all it is just to get together, uh, have a few laughs, dance, and. Rather than dancing in a nightclub, uh, we'll be dancing here. If we don't do it here, we'll go to some local spots. Yeah. You know, that sounds very attractive, and if I weren't one of the, uh, the older fellows myself, I'd be glad <laughs> to join you. We'll be back to Joe Namath in just one moment.